Hello and welcome back to Lamplighters League. My name is Aiken and today we're going to continue the guides to each of the agents. Today we're going to take a look at Isaac. As always, I'm going to run through his core skills, then the equipment and then the undrawn hand uh, that I would run with him. And then we're going to look a little bit into gameplay. So let's jump right into it. Isaac, right off the gate, is a free DLC hero, came in as a very strong damage dealer. And if you build him right, he can definitely excel at that. As a um, core concept, he's using an LMG, the only character that does that, unlimited ammunition, but he builds up heat over time. And as uh, the LMG builds up more heat, not only does he shoot more often, at the beginning three, then four, then five, then, um, then seven bullets once the heat is fully maximized. Uh, so unfortunately with uh, high heat he also will take damage and uh, by himself so there is a bit of a trade-off to not let him uh, stay at maximum heat the other uh, disadvantage is the higher the heat the lower your actual movement rate so he's a very stationary character in that sense but if you do have a good position and can make him work once he gets going, he will shred and tear through enemies. His uh, signature ability is Spitfire, which is just like Eddie's uh, AOE cone, a longer but more narrow cone where he uh, basically unleashes a hailstorm. The, uh, what this here doesn't say is the higher your uh, current uh, mm, uh, your current heat level, the more damage Spitfire will also do. So there is a uh, strong incentive of using that with high heat. Now, let's take a look at his main or um, more important abilities that I would highlight. Uh, the first one is Repel. It starts here uh, with the Repel 1, where the agent shreds armor and shoves the target back one tile. Um, can cause knockdown. Uh, the Repel 2 shoves it even back three targets. Very strong ability as it is seldom that you get a uh, crowd control ability on a damage dealer. So that in itself is a great ability. It also creates heat by itself um, and deals very respectable damage. Uh, that in itself kind of is a closed system. Repel doesn't really work uh, super well with other uh, 500 abilities, but it is a strong solo ability. Good. Now... The second um, important abilities are all really requiring you to have a lot of heat. So here's the point. Everything that I'm saying from now on assumes that you uh, have built up heat. The core problem of Isaac in the first round is he needs to build up that heat in order to make him a viable contender. So you need to go through that first round. You either need to shove AP into him but I promise you, once he does have the heat, he becomes a force to be reckoned with. So, noticeable things that once he does have all of the heat up, that he can do is, number one, smolder. Passive ability, each successful hit grants a stacking plus one critical hit chance. So, that's important because uh, when you are overheating, you have seven uh, shots per uh, per. AP that you're doing so that um, assuming that you're shooting at targets out of cover or targets that you can hit is a 7% crit chance increase and the next uh, attack will be another 7% on top of it so that's effectively the last bullet has plus 14 crit chance on top of it when you are overheated and this is his passive ability here um, all offensive uh, abilities have a 33% uh, chance to grant one AP. It's called Reckless and it can trigger off of every single shot. So once you are really heated, um, the abilities that you're using can very much grant you additional AP and you can continue uh, to um, get going. There is a limit to it. I think twice around is uh, uh, the limit. At least I have not seen it much more often than that. Next ability that you should know about is whilst overheated, each critical hit restores some hit points. That nicely works together with uh, Smolder as you're increasing your hit, crit chance and then every single crit restores some extra hit points on top of it. So 
There are a couple of other nice abilities, 15 armor um, um, whilst under the cover of smoke and we'll come to that in a second but the last ability that I will uh, highlight when you are fully heated is cannonade. Cannonade is kind of an AoE uh, ability that allows enemies to, flush, uh, to be flushed out. Typically you start doing that in the first turn to then have 100% chance of hitting them but say for uh, the instance of an argument that you're reducing uh, your cooldowns and you do have it ready whilst you are on full heat, then it not only deals massive amounts of damage, but it also creates burning on the ground, which will uh, make the enemies regret their life choices. Finally, I say it gains 5% uh, uh, hit chance per stack of heat, making it more likely to hit. So you can already see that almost everything kind of re uh, resolves around his heat mechanic and how to deal with it. So. Unfortunately, he gets a lot of, uh, there will be situations where he either gets too much damage because um, once you are overheated, you will take uh, damage per each LMG attack um, or you need to reposition yourself. In both of the cases, an ability called Vent comes in handy where you basically get a free action. Uh, so this ability doesn't cost anything. It creates um, a smoke so that you're more difficult to be hit but it also uh, gives him some hit points depending on how much heat he's releasing. So he's a very self-sufficient character in that uh, regard, as once he gets going, you can um, really regain hit points. Now, there are ways of uh, doing that even more effectively, and we'll come to that in a second, but I want you to appreciate his core uh, mechanic, which is building up as much heat as possible, um, and then he can self-generate a couple of AP, he can self-generate a few other uh, things as, he, um, as he's going, and he can even self-heal, um, as you uh, as you have uh, as you have uh, seen here, so critical hits restore hit points. So now, what's uh, what's uh, the right way of um, therefore selecting his equipment and making uh, him the truest or most um, wreck and force that you can uh, that you can think of? Now let's go into that. So in terms of equipment, really one of the core problems that Isaac faces is his own uh, damage is very low. He has a lot of shots, but he, they come in with incredibly limited damage. So if the enemies do have armor, that typically negates Isaac's capabilities. I would therefore very much suggest that you get an armor shredding option, either shredding talisman one or shredding talisman two, or later in uh, in the game, uh, if you really want to optimize it, uh, you are going for the electromagnetical optimizer that will help him to just go through the armor as quickly as possible. Pro tip here, uh, the weapon mod will trigger on every single hit, uh, so uh, that will just completely melt armor uh, in no time. Now the second thing that uh, Isaac can benefit from is additional uh, action points because he's not really good at doing that himself or a way of staying in uh, his overheated state for as long as possible. Um, there are three ways of building him with his accessory. One is the Vitality Engine, which is passive upon using a buff or debuff consumable, Agent regains an ability point. So that will allow him to just um, heal himself or regain um, action, uh, action points from whenever he's using a um, item and therefore making him um, more uh, independent um, of his shots. There are great items, specifically buff and debuff items. So buff items, uh, remedy flask is an option. Uh, hasten flasks are a great option, not only giving him AP, but then also on top of it, um, giving another AP um, uh, to him. Specifically, the hasten flask too is great for that. Uh, debuff ability, stress flasks could work very, uh, very nicely, but also firebomb, electricity bombs, yada, yada, yada. So you get the point. It gives him this uh, accessory gives him the option to do more than just damage dealing and essentially be a bit of a crowd controller. The second accessory that you can run are the um, uh, embroidered hand wraps. So uh, for full transparency, 
uh, first Design. accessory you would uh, get right here the vitality engine the embroidered hand wraps you will get uh, right here uh, from mother amina and the third one that i will show you is the Reudius uh, amulet that you will also get uh, from her so let's take a look at all three of them we already um, had the engine now the um, um, embroidered uh, hand wraps will give him the self-healing capabilities uh, heals 20 hit points when the agent lands a crit Mind you, once he is um, overheated, he will land a lot of crits, and that in return will mean uh, that you oftentimes heal for 20 hit points. So with the hand wraps, you can stay <clears throat> in the overheat for as long as you want, because effectively what it does is it gives you unlimited uh, healing, uh, making him also a true tank. As long as uh, they don't hit him down from and, uh, 100 to 0 him, he can heal up with the embroidered hand wraps like it's no man's business. Ultra strong item on him if you want to just uh, keep on healing himself. The other very strong item on him him is the Viridius amulet. Upon receiving a heal, agent gains one um, action point, and that can trigger with uh, his vindicative ability. So if he's overheated, he heals, then also gains more AP, and that will keep him going so that he can shoot more often. Not as healing intense as the hand wraps, but certainly something that Isaac can use in order to just generate more AP. Finally, the undrawn hand. So what do, uh, do I run with him? You can run whatever you want uh, with him as long as it is passive, doesn't require a lot of activation and gives him uh, more oomph uh, with his shots. The first thing that I'm running is the storm. Uh, Mr. Tex will still grace for 20 damage and as you upgrade it, it will uh, grace for even more. But it comes at the expense of uh, critical hit chance. Now is the trade-off really worth it for him? Absolutely, and I tell you why exactly. He shoots seven times and each of the shots only deal 18 points of damage. So a fully upgraded storm, which I don't have on him, would deal 30 points of damage, which is as much as a crit for him. Uh, minus 10 crit chance is nothing that um, will prevent him from landing crits. Matter of fact, it can be negated uh, easily by equipment. But uh, having the option to hit for 30 points of damage per shot whenever you miss is absolutely phenomenal and it will trigger all of the other good abilities um, on top of it. I gave him a second uh, passive, which is the Comet, just to give him better hit chance and um, uh, he can inspire himself. That's not the important part. The more important part is really the um, hit chance. And finally, the Great Wind, which upon uh, becoming inspired, he gains two speed, which allows him to at least move a little bit if he's uh, fully um, overheated. And whilst inspired, uh, attacks have a 20% chance to grant one AP up to three AP. So keep that in mind. That is very, very important and ultra strong. If you have a way of inspiring him, his seven attacks all have a 20% chance of gaining that uh, one AP. So the Great Wind can trigger up to three times. And for Isaac, that really works out well. So if you want to optimize for AP, uh, you can definitely do Great Wind plus Viridius Amulet. And then uh, his attacks and his self-healing, um, once he is inspired, will deal a great ton for it. The Comet, uh, so far, he cannot self-inspire him because he cannot reload. I should say that. I simply took it for the hit chance. So that uh, part um, will need to be solved by another member. But there are easy ways of inspiring others, uh, mainly the Herald card, which easily does it. So that's really Isaac in a nutshell. Uh, let's see how he plays out and how much damage we can lay down on a nicely geared and equipped Isaac. All right, let's join the Isaac gameplay. I've chosen a situation where we have already engaged enemies and Isaac is at uh, full heat. So as you can uh, see, we're not uh, just going through the first round where you basically start with Repel and Shot of Legacy in order to kind of build up the heat. We're going to showcase how good uh, he is once that is being done. So one thing that you could do in order to get enemies out of their hiding spot is uh, going to use Cannonite. Just uh, flashing them out and you can see not only are we getting uh, the extra hit points from recklessness, but uh, we're 
almost killing one of them right off the bat. This mummy has uh, gone down as well. A single shot or iteration, 40 armor shreds, and he heals himself plus regains actions. And after uh, two iterations and a single enemy is already done. Uh, same goes uh, for his ultimate. If uh, you are fully uh, loaded, you can see that uh, he would deal that much damage to everyone in the uh, proximity. So just look at the amount of damage that he would be uh, dealing to every single one. Healing uh, off of it and he almost killed her. Just picture there are five or six of them in a row. Isaac continues to heal himself uh, thanks to his uh, abilities and as long as he does have some sort of um, a um, way of healing he can go on and on and on uh, without uh, needing to stop. He gets 3 AP just from his own crit uh, ability and if I would have buffed him in advance we would have seen that the great uh, wind would have gotten him likely another one or two ap so let's continue and see how well he's doing in the next rounds all right reinforcements came and isaac is the right one to deal with them they all came in just hot off uh, the press thankfully isaac has uh, the right tools for the job let's start with uh, first of all uh, hmm seeing how he combos off of certain things. There is a grenade in uh, the way. Isaac is going to flush them all out and explode the grenade just on top of that. And now we're going to see just how well he works together with uh, the Inspire buff, thanks to In the Wind. So he gets that greater speed in case he ever would need to move even on full um, on full um, uh, heat he would be able to move a little bit so that is good to know and let's see how well he's really going um, to deal with each of uh, these enemies so you can see full armor shred and the great wind uh, gives him three AP so uh, that is as much as it can uh, do Isaac continues to shred every single every one of them uh, full health recovery and overheat damage is effectively neglected. Once people are shredded you can see every single hit comes in for uh, 15 and his reckless continues to give him extra AP. He's just uh, healing, 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 reducing stress as if there would be no tomorrow and then finally he uh, kills the last guy. Typically uh, it would be even more uh, optimal instead of just taking damage at the at the very end uh, it would be more optimal to just uh, use the vent ability to fully heal and then use a normal uh, shot uh, vent wouldn't have costed uh, him any ap so that's really it i say once he is in position and he is uh, fully loaded can deal an absurd amount of uh, single target damage but he needs the right setup in this case he needs uh, the inspiration um, so that he can get uh, 3 AP from the Great Wind up to 3 AP from Reckless and that really uh, allows him to uh, go about his ways between 6 and 8 AP per round very stationary but ultra good uh, once he is uh, loaded if you like uh, the guide of Isaac, leave a comment uh, down below and tell me what exactly you liked about him the most. Do you have suggestions for improvement uh, for his build? Then please leave a comment uh, down below as well. And elsewise, see you in the next uh, guide episode. Thanks a lot and have a good day.